Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, who's in the mood for some nostalgia? Nostalgia! Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, which I got a story for this one. I got a story for this one. Actually, you know what? I want to make sure that our audio is playing even when I'm minimized. Uh... Never mind. Okay, look. Once upon a time, when I was a very young lad, like a very, very young lad, uh, probably 4th, 5th, 6th grade? I don't even remember when Age of Empires 2 came out, but I do remember I very, very, very wanted to play this game. And so what I did is I asked my grandmother if she had any yard work that I could do, so that way I could earn enough money to buy Age of Empires 2. And of course she just made up some bullshit for me to do so that way I could earn my money. And so all I did the entire time that I did the yard work, which by the way, there is no way I was doing anything of value to my grandmother's garden. A zero percent chance. <laughs> but I explained to her how you know you can build farms, you can collect food, and there's like a bunch of resources and so on and so on, and like just kept talking about it, and she just sat next to me, and let me tell you, my grandmother is a paragon of patience, man. Like, that lady did not matter what was going on. She would just calmly listen to something she had zero context for. Um, and she listened for, like, six, seven hours while we weeded the garden. And then was like, alright, go get your game. And then I continued to explain to her all the little updates of what was going on. Absolute MVG, most valuable grandma. So, um, I'm gonna do the campaign, I'm gonna relearn everything, and I actually do watch a reasonable amount of The Viper, who's a pro Age of Empires 2 player, who's extremely good, and it's just fun to watch anyone who's good at any game. Um, and the thing that's interesting that I've had explained to me is that in StarCraft, well, excuse me, in any RTS, resources are king. In any RTS, resources are king. Whoever has more wins the fight. That is the number one determining factor. And in StarCraft, it's like number one is who has more, number two is who has a better composition, and number three is the actual in-battle decision. It's sort of like the stack of things that are going on. Um, so, um, I understand that, you know, in StarCraft, you have the phrase, never stop building workers. But, you know, in StarCraft 2, you do stop between, like, 66 and, you know, 85 workers, somewhere in that range. Because you get maxed at 200 supply. In Age of Empires 2, you also get maxed at 200 supply. But I understand that, um, you build, like, 130 workers in this game. Like, way crazy up ramping, um, in the multiplayer. Uh, which one do we want to do? Which is which is the campaign that we want to do? Does it not give me a tutorial? Learn to play? Alright. Is this it? We is these the tutorials? Leader, the dead king of Scotland has no heir. War creeps in from the south. What Edward Longshanks, the avaricious king of England, has returned from successful campaigns in Wales oh, yes. and Wales France. As Longshanks turns his attention to Scotland, the shadow of fear settles across the highlands. Shadow of fear. The English have oh, yeah. thousands of Welsh longbow, thousands. hundreds of knights on horseback, and dozens of siege weapons. We Scottish have a rabble of. I'm not skipping the slideshow. There's a button to. I'm not going to skip it. We must act soon. If we are to have any chance of resistance, we need to forge an army by any means necessary. I'm glad there is uh, an actual type out of the text because I'm not going to lie, that is some tiny text to read. All right, admit it. Follow the instructions to reach the Scottish village. You got it. The English are terrorizing. Oh, look Scotland. at this speed on the scroll. Oh my God. Okay, options, game, scrolling speed. Thank you. Confirm. But if we are to defeat, still them, a little slow. All right. Every one of us will need to learn how to march and fight. Follow the path of the blue flag. First place. All right. Okay. Wait. Let's also go to the game speed. Is set to fast. Is that good? All right, good. Good. Now move to the next flag. Move to the next flag. Right, right click. click, dude. I'm flag. figuring out how these games work. I, I, you know, I've played an RTS or two in my time. Bit, you must walk through the black area. Moving you must into the black, the black area, area. reveals more of the map. The black area represents unexplored territory. Wow, isn't this fascinating? Isn't this fascinating to watch? Hold on, let me let me center my body. Ugh. 
Oh, I am now officially an element of the UI. Don't I look like I belong here? This is amazing. Bigbird says, really, which RTS games have you played before? Essentially all of them. Amazingly, except for um, CNC Generals, which is a big gap for me. Uh, is this an Marketing. HD remake? Yeah, I mean, I actually, I, I have the, the DLC, graphics preset, Ultra. I'm using the DLC that has, it's a free DLC. Uh, Kid? Tall, Kid tall. Tall. This, is, this is amazing to think about that during this period of time, things like... Um, Wow, yeah, no, I should do I should do a day off on CNC Generals. That's a great suggestion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's so interesting to see that, like, during this era, the idea of fog of war type things is still kind of, like, new. It's weird to think in this era that people are unfamiliar with the idea of fog of war. Now go to the next flight, where you will meet some allied soldiers. And by people, what I really mean is gamers. <laughs> Come on, gamers. Oh, we got some allies. You move all your Do control. Click nearly the next All right, control hockey is working great. To move them. Right. Try moving your soldiers to the next flight. Get, all Get there, guys. The, flight. the road ahead is guarded by an English outpost. Scroll up to the okay. outpost building by moving the mouse to the very top of the screen. So S does then not stop the them. Outpost. Defensive stance, aggressive stance. Oh my God, there's stances in this game. Guard, follow, attack, move. Units do not move and do not attack, even if they are attacked. Soon for distance and return. Oh, look at look at all these buttons. Oh my god, it's grid hotkeys. Okay, this is... How do I have no formation whatsoever? Is, is it possible to be formationless? Patrol, guard... Right-click the outpost to attack it. Wait, hold on, I'm looking at these hotkeys. Oh my god. How do I turn this off? Because if I do this and then I click, they seem to stay in formation. Wow, this is so this is so fascinating. Okay, so a little, little history time. Um, StarCraft, um, the, the way that StarCraft worked in terms of formation is it was a, a technique that is commonly used now, which is called magic boxing, which is the idea of if units are close enough together, they will keep formation, but if units wind up being far away, they will not move in formation, they will they will actually cluster together like this. Um, and this gives a lot of freedom of control and also avoids um, I, I'm going to call it a word for it uh, um, harmful intelligence, we might say harmful intelligence which is that like, okay, this is a fast unit this is a slow unit. So if we actually individually move these as control one and control two, you see that the fast unit moves ahead, right? And so if we select them together and click move, now all of a sudden all the this horse is slowed to the speed of the rest of the units. So if I'm trying to retreat, it is harmful to have the intelligence of this formation working with me. And this was an interesting design choice for the original StarCraft, that basically no formation is a deliberate mode. Um, so in uh, Warcraft 3, there was a sort of in-between where you could choose formation movement because that was a really common, uh, and, and still in some RTS games is a common piece, like in the uh, Total War games, having formations of things that move around. Um, but the more and more and more that you actually get skillful at various RTS games. Increasingly, it becomes, yeah, how do I just make sure that the units do what I tell them to do, period. <laughs> like, this is super fascinating. So here I go, I'm right-clicking. Uh, while this is going on, um... Die! Ooh, yeah, we get the scroll. And of course, as always, scrolling out the most is the best. Dude, look at the fidelity on these trees. This is really nice. Malcolm says, do you have a donation link? My noob ass can't find one. I don't, Malcolm, man. It's just bits. But, Malcolm, man, you're already here. You're subscribing. Five bucks a month is more than enough for me, man. The outpost is destroyed. 
That should slow the English read. That should slow the English read. Oh. There's a way to select individual units Keep in the group. You can control click on their icon. Or you can select on your cavalry and have it escape clicker. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so it looks like... Oh. Looks like some of the controls are a little different. Home sweet home. But wait. The English are angry that you destroyed their outpost. They're coming to attack your village. Oh no. Don't pass defend. Here. Just click your soldiers and right click the red English soldiers to attack. Wait, wait, is there no attack move in this game? Oh no. Attack move is R? Okay, wait, wait, hold the phone. Hold the phone, hotkeys. Is there a way to change? What are the classic hotkeys? Oh my god. In every game, every modern game, A is attack move. <laughs> With the exception of when people go to grid hotkeys. Um, so I assume this is a grid hotkey rollout. Um, where, where do I do the classic hotkeys? Is this it? Attack move is tab in classic hotkeys? Ooh. Oh, shit. That is agony and i love it i mean literally i just changed a hockey but it's like so weird it's so weird to me din 904 with the thousand bits cheers to you din all right hockey's going order across the rows no no no. i, I understand that multiples here that's called grid hockey's which i mentioned like super 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 briefly um i'm actually uh curious if there's a different if there is a default mode what are the hd hockey's Good job. Now you know how to fight back against the English army. Oh, tab. One tab, two tab, three tab. Oh. All right, let's go to the let's go to the hockeys. Let's do the definitive edition hockeys. Yes, apply. And let's do attack ground. Oh, uh, that's that's forced to attack ground. All right, where is attack move? Unit commands. Attack uh game commands. Create group 1. All right, control groups are good. Uh, set gather point is fine. Um, military units attack move A. Aggressive. I guess put aggressive to R since I like don't want to hit it. Auto scout. Is there a stop? What's stand ground do? Damn it! <laughs> Return to map, man. Fuck. No! Ah, oh, I've been I've been foiled. Uh, quick current game. Damn it! I won. Skip. I don't care about this at all. Is that it? Is that the entire thing? Is it the entire tutorial? No. Oh my god. There are six more tutorials. Oh, thank God. Return to campaigns. Ah, yes. Marching and fighting we've done. Look at this. Look at the campaigns. Feeding the army. Hell yeah. Yeah, now draw the rest of the owl. I was really feeling that, Shreel Shreel, man. Or Shree Shree. Gather 50 food, wood, and gold. Okay. To support the Scottish army, you will need to build up your stockpile of resources. To win, gather 50 food, 50 wood, and 50 gold. Okay. So here's the this. Will continue working for you, carrying the food to the town center. So here's my resources: wood, food, gold, stone, and humans. Heartless is replaying the tutorial the hardest difficulty. Actually, is that something they even let you do? Could be. Oh, look at this. We got food. Get it. Look at him go. Now this is my kind of tutorial where you click it and then you just stand there. My favorite part about games is that they're interactive. I hope he brings back not enough for a villager. The amount of food you have <laughs> is shown in the upper left corner of the screen. In addition to your food stockpile, you can see your current wood, gold, and stone stockpiles. 
All right. The more villagers you have, the faster you can gather resources. Assign your new villagers to gather food. Assign your new villagers to gather food. So, are these actually considered individual different bushes? Like, can I have both of these collect on this bush? I can. So, it's just however many can fit, huh? So, now it's gonna tell me that I can have more to collect. Uh, to collect the food faster. However, then when I actually get enough to build it, it's gonna tell me to build a farm, huh? Build house. QQ provides five population. Build mill. You now have 50 food. To win, also gather 50 wood and 50 gold. To gather wood, click a villager, then right click a tree. Alright. Oh, yeah, multiple ones can gather the same thing. Great. Ownage, 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 ownage. Dude, Leprechaun5000 says great show today. Thank you, Leprechaun. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you also gifted five. Also, it's Psychic Muffin gifted ten. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't see that. I was busy in an absolute stone cold terror. I'm not doing it. Build house. It costs 25 gold. All right. So it just picks a random house. Great. I wonder if shit... Does shift clicking work? Let's see. This. Okay. Good, good, good. Feels so far so good. So this is 5Q. Good job. You now have enough wood. Psychic Muffin says, You said it would be nice to get money for doing nothing, so I donated 10 subs before stream started. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's done. And there's the villager creating. Okay. So if I rally onto the resource like this, it looks like rally points do work. Great. Not enough food. And this guy that just came out does in fact go collect the wood. Wow, not a feature that was in StarCraft 1, huh? Why can I not create this? Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at the health cost in the bottom left. The food cost is at the right. And I love that there is no color coding in the uh, in the tool tippage. It is just parentheses. <laughs> oh man, that is dope. All right, all right. I'm collecting way too much wood right now. Okay, so here we have some little guys collecting. Here we go. Uh-oh. Yeah, there is a resource icon. That was great. Oh, is this the guy that I have going out? Oh, you found it! Oh, thank God you found some gold. Okay, my, my goal is actually just to collect this much shit. Now, you're going to hear these things a lot. Now, I, in, the, in the Blizzard games, whenever you selected a unit, every time you gave it a command, it would talk. But there was a spam protection on the sound. This game doesn't have none of that, man. Actually, I guess I shouldn't have this in order to collect enough. This is great. No spam protection here. Your ears? I'm sorry, your what? Your... Excellent. Did I do it? Did I win the objectives? You're well on your way to making a city. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <sighs> Feels good. Feels good. You know what? I'm going to return to the map. No, I'm going to leave the map. I'm just kidding. Edward Longshanks for all its disrepute. Doesn't matter to me. I'm here to play a game. Let's return to the campaign. All right. So this is actually very helpful for me as much as I'm kind of chuckling here and there. Like, knowing how the game uses its basic buttons is pretty many important. soldiers to defend our homeland. To win, you will need to create four militia. We'll start by creating villagers. Click your town set, then click the Create Villager button in the lower left corner of the screen. It takes time for a villager to appear. 
if your town centre is selected, you can see right, progress. So we need a bill. Let's see. Good job. Lumber. The villager has appeared next to your town centre. Now create another villager. All right, you need so, additional housing. I'm doing stuff. <laughs> to build a house, click a villager. Done. Click Train the militia. Button. Where where do you click think the, the these are? Buildings. Military build buildings are W. I see outpost palisade. House. Each house supports five units. Barracks. The population W Q. Okay. The the yeah. 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 Let's build two of them. Population. Other building. Dude. Silphanas with the ten giftos, man. Hey, thanks. If more than one villager builds a building, it will go up fast. Oh wait, multiple villagers can build in this? Oh, that actually. Th this is more or less a busto mechanic. It is extremely dangerous in like any game, <laughs> in which there is an idea of evolving timing to allow forms of ramping. Like that is one of the biggest no-nos. Now you can create soldiers. Click the barracks, then click the Create Militia button. Selecting different buildings or units gives you different options in the lower left corner of the screen. Can I do multiple building at once? Okay, so let's see here. That's one militia unit. So let's cancel this guy. Oh, escape deselect, huh? How do I cancel? Click the barracks. And quickly click the create so escape button. does not cancel it. Okay, that's weird. Soldiers in a row. Intuitive though, right? Escape is like undo in this game. And in StarCraft, it is cancel. Oh, delete does it. Wow. Okay, so this says hold down control to click unselect. Is this... Why does it say two and then also one? Kia. Huh. Interesting. So if I do like this, I think this is I have ten things selected. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, so this ten, I think this ten is unassociated with the specific object underneath it. It's just that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things selected. So each thing that is selected has its own portrait, and ten just happens to be on top of this one. <laughs> okay, so this is like I have two things selected, and it happens to be two barracks. So now if I hit Q, do two things start building? No, one thing starts building. So if I do this and I do QQ, this works a little bit more like StarCraft 2. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Unage. Alright, so let's just... Alright, great. Alright, I recognize your dialogue line, my friends. Okay, so Shift does work the same way it does in StarCraft. And does Control also select all of the type? soldiers. You will be able to defend this area against the Double click attacks. does, but control click doesn't. Okay. Alright, where's the food? Dude, I have no idea. But the important thing is that I'm the best. Tsh. Leave the map. Now that we have I don't even care about the cultural significance of that. I'm in the campaign, baby. We now train the troops, we now research in technology. Rumors perfect, 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 perfect. A giant who leads the forces of Scotland. His great sword thrives. His great thread. Uh, shift and control are reversed from StarCraft. It looks like shift is the same. To win, you will need to advance to the feudal age and repel the English raids. Man, you got it. Not an issue. So, for instance, here are these. The English if I hit shift, advanced weapons are armed. To win, and it looks like shift does deselect and, and the English raids. You're going to need to research some I think control and shift do the same thing. the strength of your civilization. For example, Dude. researching loom makes your villagers harder to kill. All right. To research loom, loom. click the town center. Town center. Then click the research loom button. Research loom. Makes your villagers harder to kill by providing 15 hit points and plus one normal, plus two pierce armor. Oh yeah, motherfucking armor classes. How do the armor classes work in an RTS? Well, guess what? They're essentially never explained fucking ever, man. It's so good. Well, Darren says, Day 9, have you played, uh, do you have opinions on Age of Mythology? Yeah, I played and streamed Age of Mythology. It was fun. Um, I mean, I, I, I have some fundamental qualms with the way that the gameplay rolls in that. 
All right, so advance to the feudal age. So this is advanced feudal age. Two dark age buildings. Nice. Improves your civilization. Gives you access to different buildings. More powerful military units. Stronger tech. You must have any two dark age buildings. Lumber camp, mining camp, mill, dock, or barracks. So this is a barracks. So I now need a mill or dock. Okay. So I'm going to select this. And this is repair. Okay, so buildings. Is this the thing that they can return to? So this is uh, mill is used to deposit food. Okay. Build near bushes. Great. So I'm going to build a mill here. Oops. So this is Q W is mill. Q W is mill. Where'd this lady go? And this is mining camp. Q E stone or gold. Okay. So Q E and Q W are the juicy ones. In addition to gathering food at forage bushes. Villagers can help oh, look at these. Deer for food. Get them, guys. Oh, my God. Raid the corpse. I have some sheepos. Can I just hunt the sheep as well? Is that how this works? All right. So this, so my, this thing should be good to go. Oh, we need 500 food, of course. I thought that the, so there, there's sometimes different, different iconography that's here. So like, it looks like this is red if any of the conditions are met. Like, a lot of uh, strategy games differentiate the cost requirement from the technology requirement, where the, it will gray out the button if you don't have the tech. So that way, gray communicates to me I'm missing tech. And then the uh, food, or excuse me, the, the actual cost to build, I just try to build and it goes, you don't have enough. Like, that's, that's sort of the StarCraft method. Um, I've not seen something that fun functions quite like this before, but... Maybe I have, actually. I don't know. I play a shitload of games. Yeah. And I lie a lot. Alright, so let's see. It looks like I'm completely surrounded. Dude, there is one thing that I remember very clearly from these games. Oops, I made this four. This should be six. My hands want it to be six. Dude, you guys are going to be loving my spamming this game, huh? Dude, look at how much food it takes to advance in technology. Research loom. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Good. Researching technology Good. costs you resources, but improves your civilization. Good. While researching, you can put your villagers to work and use your military units to explore. Yeah, no, don't worry. I'm, I'm one step ahead of you, buddy. Loom. <laughs> this poor deer. I can mouse only this man. It's like not an issue. Oh, I love that when I hit A, it says click an area to attack there. and buildings become available when you advance to a new age. To advance from the Dark Age to the Feudal Age, we need 500 feet. What is stand ground? If I, if I hit D... No, that's just a stance. I want all of them to be as aggressive as possible. Dude, oh my god, it is so hard, guys. Oh, are you all able to crowd around here? No, it looks like two of you are not working. Kill the deer. Can I rally like this? Actually, maybe I should stop making villagers. Yeah, I'm going to stop building like anything. Uh-oh, we're out. We there is no more food. We are having an absolute crisis. Okay, guys, everybody start hunting. Oh my god, look at the absolute instantaneous collapse of these sheep. This is this is horrifying. Sheep are dropping like flies. Oh god, they're all they're all gonna turn sideways! Oh Fargaret. 
Folgere, Fjedige, Erlov, Fjedige. Oh, I can control the shit? All right, guys, come on over here. Let me walk you, walk you to your graves. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. <laughs> this is horrible. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe they're just looking for the wool. All right, let me create a con control group of sheep. <laughs> this is just horrifying to me. Oh, this is horrifying. Now Do we still have, have toilet paper? To the feudal age. Actually, not in my home. However, you also need two buildings from your current age. We are low. Now you can advance from the dark age to the feudal age. Click dark your age town center. Feudal age. Then click the advance to feudal age button. Good. You're on Good. your way to the feudal age. This is always something that is so funny to me to about. The English are making a sneak attack. Where? That's oh, fine. Oh, oh. Now I don't know if the micro works anything like in StarCraft. Where like in StarCraft, you'll often want to run past with melee units and attack like this to get more surface area. Now I mean, just visually, it looks like that's correct. Create some extra militia units at the barracks to replenish your forces. Bargain. Get me more gold for no reason, please. Duke Fartknocker says, I've been at home for 21 days now. I'm starting to crack. Please keep streaming so I can hear a human voice beside my own. Duke Fartknocker, man, I got you. We're, we are a quarantine family right now, man. Now that I'm starting to feel a little bit more confident in my ability to continue to stream, albeit at a lower quality, because my internet, as we've talked about before, is still struggling. Congratulations. Advancing to the next stage is the best way to improve your civilization, the idle villager button. Click it and locate villagers who are not currently assigned to a task. Now that you're in the feudal age, you Where? can upgrade your militia to men-at-arms. Click the barracks, then click upgrade to men-at-arms. Okay, wait, so if I hit... Where is the idle worker button? Is this it? Next to the food. Hockey is period. Found you guys. We need food. Alright guys. It's time to fish. Oh my god, we are just absolutely savaging this guy. Poor thing. All right, what does it want me to do? Advance the feudal age and repel the raids. Uh, you know, it asked me to do something, and I did not. I did not read it because I was looking for idle worker. Go fish. Oh god. Toggle terrain filter. So this is create spearmen. This is upgrade to man at arms. Of course, militia lets you create men at arms, which are stronger. Militia line costs minus 15 food. What? Wait, wait, this is militia line? What's militia line? What's militia line? Man at arms. Upgrading to man at arms will change all your militia units to the more powerful men at arms. Oh, I see. Militia line units. Like, there is a militia lineage. There's a lineage of militia folk. That is the militia line. Look at the speed with which they fish. The English are terrible. Teach them a lesson with your new men at arms. My new men at arms? Is it done? I'm gonna research this, dude. Minus 15 supply is so insane. The English have no match for your numbers. Where do they even come from? Really want to get some wood going, dude. Like, I'm sorry, DK Line. Were you criticizing my wood production? Because the game thing seems to think I'm doing a good job. Uh, the game seems to think I'm doing a really, really great job, huh? Ha 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 ha. Do 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 do. Return to map. Ah, uh, 
everyone, everyone just point your finger at DK Line and just shake your head no. That's right, DK Line. Trying to give me advice? Well, guess what? The tutorial is no match for your pal Day9. Oh my god, this is the content that people came for. Oh my god, he's spent his life playing StarCraft. I must see him play this game. And I'm like becoming an absolute piece of shit about the tutorial. Alright. Something. I did I. I hit the wrong button. All right, I'm sorry. I, I'm just going through the tutorial because I'm bad. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Any any advice any of you have is fine. Return to campaign. All right. You want me to do the Battle of Sterling? Oh yeah. Whatever. Tell me what to do. Video game. Defeat the English army and destroy their watchtower. You got it. The time has come to take the offensive. The English have a fort near the town of Sterling. If we could defeat. Why is the game going so slowly? Game speed is fast. This is this is the Do actual speed. About the invasion of Scotland. Before we attack the English to the west, we need to build up our forces. Have your villagers start gathering food and wood. Uh, keep making villagers at your town this center until you have ten. So if I click this and I hit W and hit escape, it does that. Great. Scout cavalry are poor fight. Whoa! But they can see a great distance. You can use your scout cavalry to explore the rest of the map. Okay, how do I? You have found some sheep. How do I actually? Um, what am I talking about? What on earth am I even saying to all of you? How do I um, change the cancel? production button to be escape so if I go to barracks uh, this is the hotkeys for building these let's look at there is no cancel production really so you can't actually like if I built two workers and was like whoops I just want to build one worker in Starcraft you hit escape let's see here Zoom commands. You just you gotta click Keep it. it All right. Source of food. So send them back to your town center and assign a villager to gather food from them. Use your villagers. So this is B W. No no no. This is this is Q W is a mill. Got it. Defeat the English. Oh hold on. Let me micro my sheep home. Guys come back here to your deaths. All right, you, your hockey got reset somehow. Uh, so this is six, five, six, Q. Defeat the English army, destroy their watchtower. Dude, let me tell you, this watchtower is gonna get found out. You can gain more food by building fishing ships. To create fishing ships, have your villagers build a dock in the water to the south. All right, I like that the English like fishing ships as well as fishing ships. So let's go ahead and build a fishing ships down here. So this is Q, 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 T. Cutie? Where am I allowed to build this? Where am I allowed? Where, where am I allowed to build this? Where am I allowed to build this? Oops. Actually, if I select two dudes and I go, if I go Q, 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 oh, no, they, like, what happens if I, if I do, like, this? Okay, so there is nothing intelligent about how this works. I really should be individually building. Okay. Because in StarCraft 2, they added a lot of quality of life things where I can select a bunch of dudes and build some stuff out. Oh, I see. If I select them all and ask several workers to build several of these, they sort of queue themselves up. So let me have this guy finish this. And I'm going to research what happens when I hit QQ, QQ. So I'm not shift clicking. I'm just saying build. I want to see what happens. Okay. QT. Not enough wood, huh? Right, well, you guys need to stop getting food and get me some wood. All right, sheep, stay here and await your death. How much does this cost? One fifty. Okay. I guess gather wood. 
That's a familiar sound effect, huh? Okay, so look at this. This guy, I just clicked a bunch of structures for him to build, and he just built them all in a queue. That's nice. Oh, this is an idle. Alright. Hair love. Fish love. Alright. So this is interesting. You don't really have to queue up buildings. You just assign a bunch of construction to one dude and he just starts to build. Dude, there is actually so much quality of life stuff that exists in a lot of advanced RTSs. And it's just amazing when you don't see them. Um, yeah, let me tell you, these are some athletic fish. I mean, you got that right, Matt, man. <laughs> look, look at the height. These fish, oh, oh. Never seen a fish gasp for air so clearly. So... Oh, I see. So it just needs to kind of touch. Rob would ya? Fit fear, fit fear. Mossy says it's not quite that. They only continue if the next foundation is in their line of sight, unless you shift click them. Yeah, it's kind of. You know, again, in, in, in real-time games, there's a sort of balance between intelligence that seems like it would be really valuable. And build a fishing ship. Put the dock and build a fishing ship is, I assume, cute, right? Now I rally it to here. Huh? Huh? Yeah, there, there's real interesting sort of balance between, hey, this seems like something that someone would want, but anytime you add any intelligentsia to the game, you run the risk of shooting yourself in the foot. Where, for instance, I was beginning to make conclusions about how queuing would work. Turns out my conclusions were wrong. Um, and the game was trying to help out with that. Um, and I think it's kind of interesting to in fish, StarCraft 2. click a fishing ship and right-click on a leaping fish. The fishing ship will collect fish and automatically return them to the dock. Fishing ships are also useful for exploring. Mm, fishing ships, that's great. Build a barracks and five militia to defend your villagers and explore the map. Build a barracks and five militia? So I already have a barracks, right? Or does it want me to build another one? Alright, guys. Okay, wait, it should be WQ? Is that right? Guys, you're on construction duty. Villagers can also build farms. Build four farms near your mill when your forage bush is Oh, let's see, is this farm Q... needs only one villager working on it. QA. The hill with the dead tree protects the only access to your town. It would be a good idea to build a watchtower on this hill once you advance to the feudal age. What? Rob Wigge? Build that farm. Okay, so I can... Oh, I don't even know what I just did. But whatever. You guys are now... Kind wood collecting folk. And I have an idle worker here, and you are going to QA. Nice. The farming has begun. Is farming really good? Okay, I'm going to zoom back out to the normal zoom level. I kind of like being close up. It's pretty fun. Let's get some workers out here to build one of these watchtowers. So this and this are control six. Is this it? Is this is this the horrifying watchtower? An outpost. You know what to do. Knock it down. Uh yeah. Oh, he's just so pissed off, and it's so great. They're slow, but eventually great. Interesting. So feudal age, we just need so much food. Clear. Okay, so QA. Once you have gathered 500 food, advance to the feudal age. Not enough wood, so you got it. If you were lower, build some additional farms. All right, so we're already starting to get some spread out in this. This this thing was bad <laughs> right here. My scout is doing a good job. All right, guys, go ahead, kill this off. Can get get clear. I love that it just spams sound effects. That There's something really deeply satisfying about that, even though I'm sure it's obnoxious. You should build a lumberjack place and upgrade your wood farm. Yeah, I mean, like, the, the sort of upgrades that are in this game are, are, are those that are a little unfamiliar to me. This is Reseed Farm. 
toggle automatic farming. Is this on? Is this off? What color should this be? I have no idea what the status of this button is. Like, what is... Auto reseed is new. Okay, so like, do I do I hit this button like, is green on? I guess so. Okay, so wait a minute. I also think I'm learning another UI thing. So let me let me stop these guys. Which and I don't think there's a stop key. So if I say you are control one, and you are control two, if I select these and then say control one. These guys lose their status in Control 2. Look at this. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. Control 1, Control 2. Now when I press 1, I get this guy. 2, get these guys. 1, get the, get the, this guy. 2, get these. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Right? Pretty standard. But if I wanted to create a new group that was Control 3, which was all of them, it looks like you can't do that. I'm hitting 1 and 2, 1 and 2, and it's, it's not selecting anything. So if a unit is in a hockey, it can't be into any other hockey. That's kind of fascinating. Oops. Oh, shit. Can I cancel from up here? Okay, so now I want to advance this age. Yeah, this is interesting. It looks like this was stored uh, differently. So we're gonna take. The we're English take. are coming to attack. Oh to protect shit! Your villagers, you can use the town bell to garrison them in the town center. Town click bell. Click the town center, huh? then click town bell. Don't forget. Oh my god! Keep exploring the map. See, this is what I mean by intelligence hurting you. This game is saying, "Ooh, you want to stay in formation." But this faster unit, if it did not stay in a formation, I would be able to more quickly get it to go back home. So this is why I was asking earlier about disabling auto formations. You know what I mean? Undo the bell. Get back to work again. Once you have gathered 500 food, Advance to the feudal age at your town center. If you are low on food, build some additional farms. Oh shit! Cow trebach, oh oh, cow trebach, oh oh, quickly! Send the sheep in. You get back to work. Now that you have reached the feudal age, concentrate on making some soldiers to fight the enemy. You will need at least twelve. Good. You defeated the English assault. If you have villagers in your town center, ring the town bell again to send them back to work. Remember, okay. you can Copy upgrade your there. militia to men at arms at the barracks. You should always upgrade soldiers when you can afford it. There's no one on this. Okay. Oh, if you send a group of villagers to collect from a single farm, they'll spread out to farms automatically. Interesting. Okay, so let's upgrade this, and we need to man up my arms. We have actually way too much wood, so let's, let's get some murdering going on there. That's good. And I'm going to have you QA to more farms, because I just want more of everything. Cheers. Sithanas' sheep and other animals lose food each second while they're dead. Interesting. Okay. So this is my manly arms, and we have no food, which is fine. I'll rally to this side. And what what is the default status of dudes? Aggressive stance? Good. Some more optimal farms going around your town center as well. Oh, that's a good idea. Nice. All right, everyone, come home. QA. Okay, this barely fits. <laughs> I'm very lucky with my placement. All right, build it up, boys. These are spearmen, man at arms. This requires 45 food, 20 gold. And if I'm begun gold collection, amazingly, I have. So if it's. QW? No, Q... 
E is the mining camp. Ta da! One, two, three, four. I do nothing but hit the Q button in this game. I'm the best. And the game also suggested to me that I. Stop getting wood, you bastard. The game also suggested that I build like an outpost, watchtower with great line of sight. Remember to upgrade weapons and armor at the blacksmith. You do have a blacksmith, don't you? Alright, so I'll do this. And then you go back to wooden. Alright, so the game was taunting me, which is a real common thing for games in the 90s. Like, <laughs> 90s and 2000s games were just like, oh yeah, fuck the player, man. We hate the player. Ooh. What a cool outpost. Keep your villagers working. Uh, d does this mean that in playtesting, there were groups of people that were like, alright, time to attack. Workers, stop. <laughs> Might not be anything up here. I want to get the lay of the land. Shh. Shh. I think people went with the workers too. Oh! You want to leave a space between the mining camp and the gold? Oh, okay. Dude, I'm used to the StarCraft style where it's like, you cannot build any closer. Oh yeah, we need more farms. It looks like we, we have an economy that is just singing. QQ, QQ. Alright, let's do some of this. Ship is fishing. And then we now need to build, let's see, archery range, barracks, stables. These are three different kinds of units, okay, QWE. Outpost, palisade wall, stone wall, watchtower, palisade gate, build gate. Okay, back. Back. More buildings? What? Oh, I see. Buildings and military buildings are in two different categories. Dock, market, blacksmith! We need so much wood. Holy shit, we have so many. Bonage. Six workers idle. Great. Things are so tiny in this game. Alright. Let's keep building dudes. Uh, we're mining some gold. Is this dude just stuck? Yeah. It looks like it was just stuck. Looks like there's actually no... It's fully choked off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why not build some more? So those will just get finished in their own time. And then in a second I'll build a blacksmith and there we go. Togo, Togo. All right, so what now? What is the play now? Did, oh my god. I forgot to eat lunch. I didn't eat yet today. That is, wow, we make you a mistake. -y. All right, well, we're gonna need to build a blacksmith. Oopsie, I require more food, that's true. That's true. I was actually just experiencing a bunch of stress this morning, trying to make sure the stream was working properly. You know, with our reduced bandwidth throughput. Okay, so let's go to Q. What's blacksmith? Q S. Dude, I actually have so much food. Dude, I am loaded. Look at the amount of food I have. Wow. So W W Q W. So we basically need wood for buildings and. Food for nerds. Here I come. Alright. You are close to the English base. Better not knock down this wall until you have an army of about 12 soldiers. Thanks. With the blacksmith, infantry and cavalry have plus one attack. Well, that's actually an interesting question. How much attack does this guy have in the first place? This is six? 
This is attack strength, which I assume is the amount of damage. Okay. Ten pulses daily is in the early SC2 games are how I got into esports in the first place. Can't believe you've never played AoE2. I have. I've played a lot of AoE2. But I played it when I was a very young human. So I'm just relearning how all the mechanics actually function. Because let me tell you, when you're a young kid and you are playing a game, you don't care about any of the systems. Even a little bit. I don't care. At all. <laughs> I just want to build catapults and shoot stuff. Shoot stuff. Uh, but now that I'm an intelligent human... I have a fully developed brain. I'm like, yeah, how much does this stuff mean? Yeah, blacksmith is plus one normal, plus one pierce armor. Oh, I see. So this is not zero out of one. Like, look at this. 45 out of 45, right? It has the slash there. And uh, similar, it has 54 out of 65 up here. Th it looks like these are two different types of armor. Two different types of armor. All right, so let's just keep building things. Cavalry armor. Archers and cavalry have normal and pierce. Fletching. Alright, let's get these guys ripped. Q. Okay, so let's let's build some. We have idle workers. Oh, shit, guys. I apologize. Oh. Fuck. So this is auto reseed. Okay, sorry. I'm I'm figuring I'm figuring out what some of the buttons are. So WQ. How do I never have enough wood? Is this the number of workers doing that task? I guess so. Bonage. Bonage. I'm gonna worry about economy balancing. Fucking later. Don't forget. Keep exploding them up. I didn't. I never would. If I A move like this, can I pass this? So if I A move, it looks like A moving does not actually target walls. So I would need to manually and individually start attacking this shit. Okay. I hate walls. Okay. Holy shit. Why not? I'm being attacked by the English. Oh, yeah. Storming in. Oh, look at this. I hit it with a sword until it caught fire. Oh, my God. Those are some high speeds. This is incredible. Would you kill the guy? Fall, 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 fall. God, I hate the English so much. Oh, look, here's the watchtower. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, these guys are not dead. Good job. You have eliminated the English soldiers. Now, destroy that tower, and our victory will be complete. Kid. Kid? Kid? I'm the best. I'm the best. Best player here. Look at this. Great job. Great the job. The Great. The battle of Stirling is sure to end in victory for the Scots. It's me. I'm the best. Now that you know how to build them, advance through the ages, mm -hmm. and find and fight your enemies. You have all the basic skills you need to play a random map game. The most common type of game in Age of Empires 2. Oh, that's right. Wow, this game is ambitious. Like, I don't think any any RTS game should ever be like, well, you've built the basic unit, you've collected some stuff, hop on the ladder, man. <laughs> ah, no, leave the map. Sterling. Nomad119, thank you for your kind gift of 10 gifted subaronis in the pepperoni. I don't want to forge an alliance, man. That's some bullshit. All right, let's do it. Tell me what to do, game. Thanks, Nomad. During these trying times, how's the lockdown family doing? Everyone doing well? Hope everyone's staying home, staying safe. The All Scottish right. army has been rallied by recent yeah. victories against oh. the English. The situation is starting to look up. 
It will help the morale of our army Rob to collect Rob holy relics Rob and place Rob them in our monastery. Oh. One of the relics is holy relics. An ally has another relic, and the English have captured a third. Monastery? You can retrieve a relic by clicking a monk and right-clicking the relic. Monks have other abilities as well. They can heal your injured soldiers or those of your allies. They can also attempt to convert enemy soldiers to join your army. Okay, you can retrieve a relic by right-clicking the monk and right-clicking the relic. Okay, so I need to figure out what these buildings are. So this is the town center. This is a barracks. This is stable. Archery range. Let me just do four, five, six, seven. So four Q. Kid, it. Kid, These are archers. Oh. Dude, it's so hard for me to tell which units are what right now. That's a relic. This is a monk. All right, let me organize this, dude. These dudes look so similar. Who did it? You have a relic. Protect the relic in the monastery by right-clicking the monastery. Look at this guy. Look at how ripped our monk is. This is incredible. Perfect. You now have one relic garrison. Relics garrisoned in your monastery will slowly add gold to your stockpile. What? Really? Is that like a mechanic in the game? Oh. Uh, QQ, I guess. Alright, so this... Rob, would ya? Rob, would ya? I don't know, Rob, would ya? Farms are a good source of food once you have exhausted forage, bushes, and animals. Farms are built like buildings and must be periodically rebuilt. Mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. gather food from a farm, you click got a it. You uh, got it. Right a farm. Maybe we should just not play the campaign and we should instead work up the multiplayer. Actually, I probably want this thing to be right here. Uh, it's nice to have allies on the map. You're ally. Don't build houses next to the town center? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this is this what's bad? Is this the bad thing that I should do? Isn't it fun to play a game just with absolute aimless direction? Isn't it just fun to do that? Oh! Micro the sheep home. Find and capture relics, huh? Alright. You have reached your ally's town. Go inside to see how his city is doing. Your ally's gate will open automatically for you. Really? Isn't this great? Let me in. Welcome. If you've come for the relic, you can find it on the hill to the northeast of our town. Hill, hill to the northeast of our town. That's to the upright. All right, dude, dude, okay, can someone help me with this? How do I get these dudes the hell out of the formation? I don't want these guys to walk together. Double click, okay. Separate can... Your unit will walk at the slowest unit in their control groups. That, that's what I'm saying, how do I get them to be in, like, if I have everything selected and I hit move, you have to control them separately. You literally, I have to do control, like, this guy and this guy is control one. And then the, these guys in control two and then the monks in control three. Did you know that there are three different modes for the minimap in the lower right corner of the screen? There's three different modes? You can show only military units, or only resources, and trade units by clicking the buttons just below and to the what right the of the minimap. Never in a million years. So H goes here, and you 5, 6, 7, and then only... And so, lots of spamming was had that day, huh? Uh, so this is some fletching. Yeah, and the thing is that I'm actually physically disallowed 
from complaining about this. Because in Brood War you can only select 12 units at once. So that's the, that's its weird thing. Oh shit. Oh, we can all go back here. So, so three is here. So I should actually have these rally points separated like this. Villagers so and that soldiers way. normally appear outside of the building that created them. You can have your units move to a spot once they are created by using gather points. To set a gather point for infantry, click your barracks, yeah, click set gather point, yeah, then I click where the map you want your infantry to gather. Alright, these assholes are gonna go here. So one, two, and four go here. I'm doing five, six, and seven for these structures. So I can shift five Q, six Q, seven Q. We have some more villagers that are getting produced. I guess I will continue to rally right up here. Yeah. Eco upgrades are super sick, don't sleep on them. There are there Econ villagers work more efficiently by moving 10% faster and getting 25% more resources. Okay, that's busted. This is the most broken thing. Skin cinch some military structures and, and TCs have their own hotkey, so no need to group them. Wait, what's the hotkey for the barracks? How do I just go to barracks? You can use the technology tree to see what technologies and upgrades you can Control research. B? Click the technology tree button in the upper right corner of the screen to see the tree for your civilization. Okay. Okay. Alright, I am beginning... Control shift b will select all barracks. Oh, dude, I'll hit 5, man. I'll just hit 5. I do not want to... Control shift b And once again, I have absolutely no room to make any comments about this at all. There is no way... Cause, because I grew up playing a game where you can only select 12 units at a time. And it also had Zerglings as a unit. I mean, it doesn't even make sense. And that game is the most superior strategy game of all time. <laughs> Yeah, H, H for the town hall is pretty nice because it's one button. But if I had to hold like Control Shift Mouse Six or some shit, like I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it, man. You can't make me do it. I cannot believe how hungry I am. I'm such an idiot. I forgot to eat lunch. <laughs> okay, so at archery range, so I see this is what they mean by the line of things: where militia, men at arms, long swordsman, two handed swordsman, champion. They all cost sixty, and it looks like progressively. Militia still cost gold? No way. Spearmen. Okay. Let me think here. So this is just this is just a bunch of shit, but really, where's my economy stuff? Because economy is all that matters in life. Castle Age. Oh, I see. The ages are delineated by these sort of padded thingies. What's a market do? Trade and research. Tr oh. Trade with other players by land. Oh, hell no. Feudal Age. Banking. Tributes are free. I don't know what a tribute is. Reduces the commodity trading fee. Trade is literally free go gold. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? The, there's trading? But, like, what if I'm in a one-on-one? -on -one? Market trading is really important if you have allies on the map. But, like, what if I don't have any allies? What if it's just a one-on-one? -on -one? You can trade between yourself, Thor and Twin. That is hilarious. What, you can trade with yourself to just arbitrage and make infinite gold? Oh my god. The American stock market would like to hear from you. You trade between your market and town center. What in the hell? Caravans will go between markets, and the farther they go, the more gold you get. There's a unit made by the market. What? What in the... Huh? Uh huh? 
You also can technically trade with an enemy marked. You cannot trade with yourself. That is false. But you can sell resources. I am getting literally conflicting information, and I love it. I love having just a chat full of people saying things diametrically opposed to each other. And I just get to sit here and watch. Oh, it's awesome. Uh, where are some of my essential uh, economic fresh trap? Provides a limited amount of food before it collapses and must be rebuilt. What the fuck? You can't trade with yourself. Do not be fooled. LOL. Thank God. Thank God. LOL. Okay, let's look at some of these other basic thingies. This is... Wow. Militia line food. Minus 15. Damn. Infantry move 10% faster. Damn. Lumber and mining have techs for fast harvesting. Where are those? Because here's the barracks. Here's the dock. Here's some walls. There's the town center. Here's the, here's the lumber and mining. Gold mining. What? Stone mining. What? Just more? Just 15, 15, 15? Villagers chop 15? Fi oh my god, 20, 20? Chop wood 10%. Jeez. Two man saw! Okay. Okay. Holy shit. Horse collar from plus of foods. They last longer before you need to rebuild them. Heavy plow. Crop rotation. What? Holy crap. Okay. Okay, I'm starting to see some stuff. Okay, so if I said uh, Q a W here, and then I said, and then I'm going to hold shift and send those guys back to Chippy Chopping. And then I hit H to collect my home, went over to here, hit Q, 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 Q. Oops, one, one, two, four, and three. You guys are gonna go this way. So this is done, so I can search horse collar. Oh, I have another one here. Infinite farm receding. And I guess you here. Oh, uh, well, whatever. Were, were, was I just sitting there getting shit on? Were they just sitting there waiting? Oh my god. Well, here's my tribute. You know, what are you going to do? Sometimes you have to kill a lot of people. Alright, let's bring it on back. Unless they were A-moving. Yeah, I mean... Were they not on aggressive stance? Okay. Well, they all die. Sometimes it happens. So then here, I want to build... Okay, Q, W, no, Q, E. Q, E. You guys both build this. You build like that. <sighs> okay. Figuring out what means what in this game. All right, let's have you keep building farms. Okay, so it looks like I hold shift and then click. So then I can hit escape, and now this lady will just be building farms, right? Dude, I love this thing that shows up, and I love that it's dash dash house built dash dash. This is incredible. All right. Keep chippy chopping. So this says more of this, and this says more of this. So I'm gonna need like so many farms, huh? You now have two relics, Garrison. Bring back one more, and you will be victorious. I wonder where it is. Uh, I don't even know why I'm mining stone, but I sure am, huh? Boom, tika tika. Lumberjack. Get him. Oh! <laughs> Alright, let's bring the sheep home. Get 
can't see like anything on this mini map. Alright, let's steal some of our neighbor's sheep. Alright. Who who thinks we can break through? I'm sure gonna try. I'm sure gonna try. Oh, I see. When they're in attack range, they break formation. And they all start going at once. Alright, hip hip, 1A. Alright, H. QQ. Rally to the sheep. Come on, guys. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Walk walk back this way. Oh, that's right. I, I need to right-click on the gate for them to begin to attack the gate. Got it, got it, got it. Q, Q, Q. Ho, 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 ho. We'll never get his sheep in his town center. Wait, do you send sheep to the town center like this? I mean, this is horrifying. This is terrible to be a sheep. How much does this cost? 60... 80 and no food what archers do not cost food oh my god a ranged anti-archer unit that cannot attack at close range strong versus units at long range weak versus skirmishes units at close range okay They just eat arrows. Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. And that checks out with everything I know about history. Alright, we have continued to hit the stone wall until it bursts into flames. It's consistent with everything I understand about how reality works. Q, 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 Q. The hot key for everything is Q. Q, Q, shift, Q, Q. Q, Q, shift, click, shift, click, shift, click. And it looks like it eats the wood at the moment I click. Uh, that's true in StarCraft 2, and that's not true in Brood War. In Brood War, when you click to build something, it walks to there, and then it only deducts the money right when it begins building. Voca Socks is in 1v1, food and wood are basically infinite, but gold is precious. So lately, you end up having to rely on trash units, and this cost no gold. Experiment skirmishes like cavalry. Ah. How much do I know about the AOE competitive 2 scene? None. I, I hardly even understand what the unit interactions are in this game. Well, now that I'm in here. Come on, guys. Alright. Destroy everything. Okay. How long has the stream been up? We've been up for an hour and 38 minutes. Where are the monks at? Alright, cool. Figure it out. So if I click attack... What? Do monks... Do monks heal? Oh, wait, W. Oh my god, we got medics in this game? This game's broken. Alright. Bring it home. Fairlum. Fairlum. I don't even know what these languages are, man. Yeah, just, just destroy and pillage and kill. Alright, hold on, hold on. Here, here's, here's the victory march. It starts now. Get in there, guys. Pillage! Uh, 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 uh. For 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 How is everyone holding up on this fine Friday? How is everybody doing? We doing we doing all right? I I trust that the stream stability has been better. 
We have uh, dropped our bit rate and changed our settings. We no longer stream in 1080p. Comcast cannot permit that. So I just hope the stream is being okay. I hope the stream is being okay. It's looking solid. Having a great time. That's good to hear. Amazing. How am I doing? I actually feel a little bit off because I forgot to eat. So, like, generally if I don't eat, I get, like, an energy dip, like, right around now. Congratulations. <laughs> Woo! Champion. All right. Show me the victory. There it is. Leave map. Mmm, look at them particles. Look at them. With this. Skip. All right. Return to campaign. What's the last one? The Battle of Falkirk? The only way that we can hold down the boggy lowlands around the boggy lowlands. Build a castle and as many walls as we can construct in a short time. Really? Oh, walls. Okay. Locations will serve to protect our camp as we can stop siege weapons with which to assault the English castle. I don't like walls. I am not a fan of walls. I don't like walls. This is a real purest thing about me. I don't like walls. I don't like walls, and I should like walls. I'm going to explain why I don't like walls, okay? I'm going to explain why I don't like walls, why I don't like them. Um, uh, I will note that creating walls out of buildings in StarCraft is stupid. I concede this point. The idea of SimCity in StarCraft is absolutely obvious to me that it is dumb. Oh, Despy, hello. You doing okay? Alright, she seems like she's having a little bit of a stressful uh, morning. That's okay. Um, so, I, I, I don't believe that using buildings as a wall is the perfect solution. I also, I'm just not a fan of this idea of, like, infinite walliness and that sort of thing. The reason is I feel that it is a little bit misleading from a gameplay perspective. You know what I mean? It's a little bit misleading. It's like saying, hey, people, you're supposed to just make huge lines of walls and not fight. Hmm. I don't like it. And I feel like when you start to get to real sophisticated levels, the walls are used in a nice advanced way where you're trying to wall things off because there's this interesting battle uh, about resources. But... The idea of, like, welcome to the game. And everyone's like, all right. And then it's just like, walls. And everyone's just, like, walling up. I still remember having land parties where all anyone did was build walls. And then everything stopped. Don't like it. Don't like it. Build a castle, destroy the English castle. Oh, this is it, huh? All right. The English could attack at any time. Oh, this is why you don't build already, farms around here. But Great. you should complete them as soon as you have enough stone. Okay. Advance to the castle age. Okay. Okay, where are the other idle workers? Ikea. All these buildings look the same to me right now because I've not played this game enough. How can I tell if there's a worker? You can also build a tower to defend your city. Units can garrison the Don't you tower dare to talk to me anymore about this nonsense. And archers can See, even fire out the tower. This was mostly based on your experience as a kid. Let, let me actually rephrase what I was saying about walls, which is that um, I think it is very important in games to encourage a player to do shit that is meaningfully interactive, whether it be actually in a one-on-one -on -one or me versus the computer or something like that. Um, and in general, things that are defensively focused create a risk of someone opting into the defense that is fundamentally not interactive. And walls falls under that, as well as like excessive defense or excessive passivity and all that sort of stuff. So th th this is just like a um, general design thing. Shazam says Fortnite would like a word. Fortnite is a great example of a very clear mechanism that says don't sit still and defend. Because literally the circle is shrinking. Literally the circle is shrinking. Shrinking, 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 shrinking. Um, now, as is obviously true, 
I'm not necessarily trying to give harsh, simple statements. Walls bad, no walls good. I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to highlight that if you create systems and make them very rich and elaborate and in-depth, someone will look at it and go, ooh, let's explore this system. Oh, are there walls? Are there gates? Are there turrets that I can fill stuff into? Okay, cool. And then all of a sudden, I've spent 15 minutes building this wall, building all this stuff up, and then what's my reward? Nothing fucking happening because it's a fundamentally non-interactive uh, set of things. Um, and the reason that we would say that what I'm saying is more of a principle and a, and, and a consideration, less of a rule, is like, dude, what if there's two high-level players who are battling over a certain position and walling off in, in a particular area is a complicated, difficult, challenging goal for someone to hit. And when they do that, it then shifts the focus of the game elsewhere. What am I talking about? Starcraft. This happens all the fucking time in this game. Um, but I'm generally concerned about the person who's just sat down and played for a little bit, and they're just like, oh, okay, I'm going to build a wall, and I'm building a wall, and I'm building a wall, and now I'm nice and secure. And then what's the huge risk in a strategy game? This guy who just builds lots of walls, builds lots of walls, and there's someone else who's just expanding, 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 expanding. Resources conquer everything uh, in most strategy games, which is why most strategy games tend to restrict the amount of resource growth that you can have. And RTSs tend not to really restrict them at all. Um, kid. kid. Yeah, increase your mining speed. And then upgrade to this, I guess. Okay, let's see here. I have towers all over the place. So Gary's still 0 out of 10 card. Absolutely green midnight. I'm so glad someone's thinking the same way I am. So I don't care about any of that. This is a stone wall. Okay, so are are these turrets? Are these just different pieces of regular wall that I like shouldn't worry about? Rub with you. Uh, okay, so I need to destroy the English castle. There's just corners of walls. Ah. Skin the Singe says your perspective on walling will change if you decide to pursue a more in-depth understanding of this game day nine. I promise. No, no, no. I I am not talking about. Walls in this game especially, fundamentally, are bad, period. I'm not making that simple of a statement. I'm saying in literally, like, all sorts of games, giving players extensive passive mechanics is a design risk and causes some issues because it causes someone to focus on a fundamentally non-interactive thing, which is defense. And there's obvious situations where this is where you'd go, here it's okay. For instance, a tower defense game, where the whole point is to build defenses. What makes this fundamentally not a passive thing? Because the game literally, deliberately hurls shit at you all the time. Um, so it's, it, it's just a general issue, and, and I mean, I would be shocked if any game that I played ever would change that opinion, because this is something that has just developed over, like, you know, 33 years of playing games. If you have surplus resources of one type, you can sell them for gold at your market. You can then use the gold. Oh, to buy. and I want to stress something. I'm talking about a generic person sitting down with their first 20 to 30 hours of playing the game, what kind of behavior it encourages. What I am never talking about with a lot of this stuff is what's actually correct at high level play. Because if someone has just started off, it is irrelevant what the high level strategy is. They don't because they don't know what it is. They, they if you're like, well, that's a weak opening because how do you defend against X Y Z? And they're gonna go, I've ne I've never even heard of the things that you're talking about. I'm just hanging out. Um, like you know, we might like, to, to give a really simple example. A game like Overwatch says, go to the fucking point. Period. That's the only thing to do. So it doesn't matter what skill level you're at, guarantees action. StarCraft says, go. I'm not going to tell you nothing to do. So in StarCraft, you have a fundamental issue for um, just people starting to kick off the game, which is, there's nothing that's really making me do anything at all. And what do you wind up seeing when you watch newbie StarCraft players play? Or I would assume would also be the case if you watch newbie Age of Empires players play, is that they sit on their base and they chill. They sit in their base and they chill. There's nothing to actually compel them to move out um, and so 
when you're in that situation, you say there should be some sort of mechanic that encourages you to interact with people to make sure everyone starts getting interactive. Everyone starts actually doing shit with each other. Um, and Greenman Knight asked a question that I think is important to clarify right now. Greenman Knight says, my understanding that you always want to balance around more casual play? Super no. I'm not talking about the difference between casual players and the difference between expert players. I'm talking about there should be some mechanism that helps motivate you interacting with your opponent. Is Battle Royale a casual mode or an expert focus mode? Not even what we're talking about. There is a circle that guarantees that you interact with your opponents. Period. Period. In Overwatch, it doesn't matter what level you're playing at. If you have a mechanism that drives you to be interactive, go to the point. That's the only thing to do. That is it. Um... And there's some slightly more subtle ones, which is like Dota doesn't necessarily have like one objective that you go for, but you got to get gold and experience early. The only place to go at the beginning of the game is the lane. Boom. Interaction starts happening right away. There's something that drives you there. So I'm actually going to take laning. Laning is what I will describe as not a requirement. I'll describe it as a kind of nudge, pretty strong fucking nudge to be interactive right it's a like come on get here Foom. okay now you're interacting with your opponent okay jesus wall systems defense systems are a strong nudge in the opposite direction it's like again i'm talking about just like baseline intuitive like okay i'm just gonna start building these walls start building these building these if somebody long into the future long into the future applying starts to go you know what i am noticing that my overall loss percentage is high and i believe that if i opt into interaction that then my win rate will increase it's kind of an abstract thought process right um and i'm, I'm skipping over and simplifying some stuff for sure but i'm i'm simplifying and skipping stuff for the sake of clarity that if in overwatch you go hmm i think i'm gonna go to the cart from this angle Probably going to wind up eventually encountering someone. You know what I mean? Um, there's something that actually drives you. Um, and I, I, will, I will summarize what I'm saying as follows. There is what I will call explicit reasons to come together and to interact. And there are implicit reasons to do the same. StarCraft is heavily implicit. Oh, my opponent expanded twice. Therefore, it is implicit that I should attack right now because he shouldn't have enough defenses. And if I do not attack, ooh, you know. Um, actually, Legend of Fiend gives another great example that in games like fighting games and Smash, there's, there's literally nothing else to do and you're literally right fucking there in front of your opponent. Boom. Um, So th th this is th this is what I mean when I see walls. My my a little alarm bells go off where I'm like, uh oh. Obviously, has it been a long term pr uh, problem for Age of Empires two? No, because look at the fucking player numbers that have been increasing for like seven years, something like that. Uh... <laughs> Mac Wax is why then I decided to play AOE just because it's been growing in popularity lately, and I went, yeah, hey, that's actually a good idea. Why not play this? I'm, I'm on a bit of a nostalgia kick. You must first advance to the next age, the castle age. Yeah, I'm doing it, man. Okay, so... Me map at the bottom right totally hurts me. Oh, look! A dead Englishman. <laughs> There's something that I find that just tickles me so much about this idea of, like... I want to do a minute. The advanced buttons let you set combat states for your soldiers. A Don't defensive you soldier will be less likely to attack an enemy that comes near it. Click a military unit, then note the combat stance buttons in the lower left corner of the screen. Using the advanced buttons, oh yeah, that's right. you can Only also command a soldier bastards. to patrol an area between two points and guard or follow another unit. Follow another unit. Oh, 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 oh. Even upgrades are pretty important too. Using militia and castle age is sad times. They're barely stronger than village. 
Wow, no way. Okay. So I should be upgrading them to men at arms and flexors. Flexotron dons. Congratulations. You're going to find lots of things to do in the castle age. Research For starters, handles. try building a what? siege workshop to make battering rams and other siege weapons. Okay, so this is pikemen, long swordsmen seems pretty important. Let me actually look at the difference. This is 45, 6, 1. The advanced buttons allow access to a new type of formation. For example, with a box formation, you can protect a weak unit, such as a monk. So, I want to see this. So this is 6, 1, and 45. And when this guy gets upgraded, I'm really curious how much damage it is. Seems like I will want infinite farms. Dude, things cost a lot of skirmisher, huh? Cavalry archer? What? Alright. My goal will be more. You so, may need to so my barracks is done. To gather stone, so you'll have enough to build the castle and all the fortifications. Sixty-nine. That's what an increase. Jesus, from six to nine, from forty-five to sixty. Holy shit! Whoa! And then I have to upgrade each individual thing. Wow. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Five, six, seven. Kid. Kid. Kia. I hate the English. Okay, let's see here. Kia. What? Replant it. Replant the farm. Are, are we serious with this shit? I can't in... Do I need... What? What? Looperus is just a quick heads up. When a description says deals bonus damage, look at it as a hidden plus 10 damage that doesn't show up on the unit tab. So it's actually not... Is it always plus 10? Like, this crossbowman deals 5, has 0, 0, and a range of 5. So if I upgrade this... Oh, I did upgrade it. It says 3 plus 2, and I don't understand why. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. If I select both of them and do like this, does this guy come back and then address this other farm. No, they just idle. So I kind of have to select go, select go. Okay, they were also talking to me about siege equipment. So if I select one and I go Q, let's see, W, siege workshop, and we need a shitload of, gold, of wood. Okay. So then All right, you know what, guys? Everyone stay here. Uh more villagers. Actually, let's cancel, cancel, and let's do hand wagon. Shh. We gotta build a siege workshop. I want to get this thing researched as well. Here's the edge of the map. I'm just gonna not research anything. Auto receive farms is at the mill. So if I do this, does this help? Need something? I'll do it in a sec. 
Jackson. I'll do it in a sec. I'm probably going to be taking a break in like 15, 20 minutes. Oh, it's a battering ram. Or like a bad Turing ram. <laughs> so I'm just going to get this resource boost. I mean, this is insane. And I guess I'll research this. So there's where you can ford the river. Is this the only place where I can do that? I guess unless there's ground transports. Okay, so I'm also gonna need... What, you dum-dums? Okay, so spear guys are really good against troop guys. Like, horsemen, right? Who, who's good at who's good at who's good at who? You know what I mean? Who's really good at good at good at who? Hey, Pluto Mond. Thanks for the kind message and cheers back to you in Germany. Welcome, quarantine family. Yeah, I'm, I'm real fascinated at the way this thing's... On sight of all buildings by force, they see enemies from a longer distance. Good. Uh, and then I had a idle worker somewhere here. There he is. Then we're gonna build a siege. No, 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 no. W R is siege workshop. Okay. Um, yeah, this, this is just like fascinating to me to play because it's like it's it's a very different model than the kind of games that I'm used to. Let's go, guys. So this is a scout cavalry. This is a knight. Ooh. What have I been building? Scout Good cavalry. Job. Oh, the knights are built up there. Shop, you can make battering rams. Rams are slow, but they are resistant to arrow fire and excellent at knocking down walls. Okay. You may need some rams to attack the English castle. Anti-unit siege weapon. Fires bolts that pierce multiple units. Weak versus cavalry and siege weapons. Okay. Okay, so let me go to the options and see if there's a way to make the units not respond so damn much. No. No. Two mouse button. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, there's a one one mouse button. That's incredible. Okay, so I'm going to build Siege Tower. Mangonel. Attack range, University. To, oh. I don't even know how to pronounce that word. Onage. Oops. Or more resistant to monks. What? Okay. Scorpion. I'm gonna build a battering ram because the game was like, you'll want a battering ram. And I was like, alright, battering rams are tight. Where's where be me golds? Boom it, boom it. Okay. Cooper says, I love how innovative Don't Overlap unit response was in SC2. Dude, you are speaking truth right now. Is there a select all army button? Speaking of innovations. Oh, look at this nonsense. This is hilarious. What's the zoom levels that pros play it? Is it, like, as zoomed out as possible? Because I'm currently kind of a fan of this middle zoom level. So I'm just really getting low on lumber. So it's like lumber and food. Put infantry into rams to make it go faster? What? What? That is peculiar as hell. How many can climb in there? 
Oh my god, it's like a clown car. Alright. What in the fuck is going on? Oh, I see. They're trying to get into formation. I'm like right clicking and they're like moving the exact opposite direction. Oh my god, dude. The formations in this game are agonizing. I hit my Q buttons. There we go. Oh, no. Let's see how good these are against walls, man. Let's see how good these are against walls. Get in there. Oh my god. Look at him go. Look at this. Incredible. Truly incredible. Let's build a, a man. Alright guys, let's set this on fire. All right, I am not spending my food at all. It's funny because the resources are in the, are in the top left of the screen, and then the mini map is in the bottom right. And I'm used to like the mini map being on this side and the resources being up here. I'm building a manjonel. All right, some ram on ram action. Get in there, everyone. Look at this. Ah, oh, yes, the cultured version. That's right, Asmodai. Mangeonel. Salut, Mangeonel. Qu'est-ce qui se passe? Am I losing, man? I think I might be. Get in there, guys. Here's everyone slowly making their way in. Oh, wow, that is... Oh, sweet. Here, it's an act. It's just a legit catapult. Oh, blah, blah. All right, Q, W, Q, W. I don't know. I like building workers. Workers, workers are the sweetest. Oh, blah. Why are the Rams not hitting the gate? They're they're chewing on this top side. Let's get them in on that gate. Oh, awesome. Oh, tight. Look at this. Things die real slow in this game. Am I hurting my own stuff? Oh, friendly fire on Majinels? Yeah. Alright, I figured it out. Shoot this. Shoot this. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, take that. Guys, please. Please. Alright, we I think I'm I think I'm a bad leader. I think it's maybe what's going on. I have a lot of supplies, so I should just be Q, Q, Q. Q, 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 Q. Gonna spam these buttons. I'm just like so low on wooden gold, man. I love wooden gold. I love wooden gold. Wooden gold is the best. Uh oh. Is our stream dying? Is the stream dying? Is that what's going on? Is everything okay? People are typing F. Had a hiccup. Things are okay now. <sighs> Comcast. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So let's go to the gameplay speed. Game, game, game. Okay, control plus and control minus. Zoom me in and out. All right, cool. All right, we've, we've broken through the walls. It looks like our strategy of macro is not working. It is not working. We lost our Manjonel as well. Everyone attack the same thing, please. Oh, yes, big boy battering ram. So... Things are requiring a lot of gold here. Skirmishers are okay. 
Create scout cavalry. That's always okay. Knight. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. I, I hit escape, but I did not mean to hit escape. And these guys just cost long swordsmen. Oh, they do cost a little gold. I see. Crap. Okay. Where is extra gold here? Uh oh. My shit is dead! So this is a lumber camp. And that seems... looks good to me. Gold! Gold! Guys, it's time to go on an incredible journey. Dude, it is hard to get more gold in this game. You need, like, infinite freaking gold. And I want this as control eight. So you go there. Bring it on. So I built a castle. Okay. Let's create a knight, man. Let's create another knight. Let's create some of these. Crappy skirmishers. Let's create more long swordsmen. And then I got a guy down here that's going to QE. I think that's right. Nice. I'm really, really good at this game. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to calmly destroy the walls. So this is like very carefully knock the walls down kind of gameplay, huh? Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know how the vision is generated in this game. Like, can I see through the walls? Okay. Two, two. What is happening? You are being attacked by... Damn English again. Get this. What is going on here? You idiots. Get out of range. Get out of range. What kind of siege weapon do you think you are? Alright, just everyone attack. I'm too embarrassed, man. WW, QQ, WW, QQ, Q, QQ, Q. Go, guys, go. Your trebuchet to hit towers out of range. Oh my God. Forgera, beat fear. I'm a mouse only gamer right now. <laughs> I killed so many of my own guys. <laughs> Advanced to Imperial Age. So much gold! Okay, dude, in this game, do you wind up with like all of your dudes mining gold? Is that how this shit works? Is that how this works? Okay. You need a marketplace? Alright, so I have a marketplace. Here it is. This is... What do I do? Buy a hamster for 169 so we can, like, sell. All right, I figured it out. I'm the best. Two castle age buildings, or a castle creepost. Cre Isn't this a castle? Oh wait, this is not a castle. Yeah. Oh, shit! What the hell is a castle? Uh oh. God, I just need, like, stone right now. Uh, I literally just burned all my stone. Look at that. Are we seriously unable to just destroy these? Just hate the English, man, let me tell you. Alright, now time to spam out uh, some long sword man. 
husbandry. Uh, elite skirmishers, I don't know, some of these. <laughs> it's part of me that hurts very badly clicking on these buttons the way that I'm clicking on these buttons, but the rest of me is fine. Most of me is actually just doing it okay. Alright, get him. Get him, boys. Attack strength 2? Are you kidding me? How embarrassing. Hmm. So how fast do people wind up teching to those sorts of resources? Feed fear. Feed fear. Eat fear. Dun, dun, dun. Eat fear. Eat fear. What is even going on? This is so funny. Yes! Yeah, look at him go! Ugh! Ugh! And a one! And a two! Alright, take, take a break. Few more reps now, Battering Ram. 8 to 15 minutes? Okay. Cavalry Archer? Cool. I like Long Swordsman, and I, I can't really explain why. But they just please me a great deal. Alright, queuing it up. We are just whacking away at the stone for some power. So if I actually go to one of my... Please, please, please. If I go to one of my... Uh, chopper guys. Okay, so if I actually look at some costs. So all these buildings are wood, but the stone wall... So how, do, how does stone wall creation work? Do I just... Like that? Okay. Can be converted? What? You can capture enemy walls? What does that even mean? What does that even mean? That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Why was capturing your enemy's stuff so big in these early games? This is so funny. It says cannot... Oh, it says cannot be converted by enemy monks. Wait, you can convert anything except walls? You can... I, I, Jesus, man. Like, this is the engineer from Command & Conquer all over again. Wooden wall that is cheap to build. Hmm. Cannot be converted. There's something that hurts me so much about the fact that Palisade Gate is directly under Palisade Wall, but then Stone Wall and Gate are, like, diagonal from each other. Tower with a ranged attack. Units and garrison side for protection. Archers and villagers shoot additional projectiles. Strong versus archers. Isn't this more fun than your tightly bound StarCraft? You're right, Entropy, man. I've been playing this game for two hours, and StarCraft is dead to me. Finally. The one and only truly dead game, huh? Speaking of which, anyone else been following uh, ASL? It is good. Q... No. Dub... No, uh, WQ. Own it. Alright, so now I can build a castle by hitting Q... No, by hitting W... C? Alright, like this. Right next to this silly wall that I have here. Get in there, guys. Take it all out. Oh, no, no! Alright, guys. Right click on this and then head right back home. Forgera. Alright, let's go ahead and build some walls. Uh, let's build a stone wall like this. And then let's have you build a stone wall like this. This. That's good. This will this will slow him down. This will slow him down for sure. Yeah, dude. ASL nine has been really good. Didn't Bisu build a probe at some point? Ooh, that clip is so good, dude. Bisu vs. Sharp was incredible. I was watching that last night, and I was exhausted, and I could not go to bed. I was riveted. All right, let me just get these guys on their own group. Great. You have completed the castle. Sir William should be here soon, and then it will be time to attack the English. Kid? Create petard. Demolition infantry armed with explosives. What? Wallace has come. Kid? Paul, Paul. 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 Here. Margaret. All right, this way. A galleon. Oh. 
William Wallace? Oh my god. I want to get William Wallace to die. Ten more wood raiders. Ten more woad raiders? What's a woad raider? Woad raider. Holy shit, look at the speed. Oh. I'm just I'm just wrecking on everything right now. Look at my unbelievably intelligently built castle walls. Just spam those Q, W, and E buttons, man. This is great. Isn't it like the movie Woad Warrior? That's why Mad Max, he is the Woad Warrior. Ooh. <laughs> ah, farts. And his Woad Raiders on your site. The English may be in trouble. Once you have a large army with plenty of siege weapons, go destroy the English castle. All right, let me tell you something. I don't know why I'm going to choose to do this, but we should absolutely do some matchmaking games today, man. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, we should absolutely do some matchmaking. I'm going to need some coaching, okay? I'm going to need some coaching. It's going to be great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every faction has a unique unit built of castles. Do factions not have unique units up to that point? Also, Neo9000, I recall that you have joined this community ever since I started Factorio. Every time I'm playing like a game that I'm just trying out, Neo's just like, hey, here's what's up. I can see Sean is already StarCraft macro. Yeah, I love just building stuff. Probes and Piles is how you win. All right, great. I mean, that's my assumption. Dana has millions of fans. That's right. This is all the fans coming in. Ah, subscribe, like, subscribe. Different factions have different combinations of basic units. Oh, so it would be like I can have an Alice and a Bob, and this other race can have a Bob and a Charlie. And a third race can have an Alice and a Charlie. All right, everyone, do the slowest formation possible. Good, good. Where's my world warriors? Hello. Cue that up. Uh oh. <laughs> Val Lisa has been following since the StarCraft 2 content, but damn, that Factorio Spaghetti is what got me to sub. Boom! There it is, man. Who doesn't like some spaghetti code? There are actual custom game tutorials built into DE. Please do that first. Ooh. Alright. Alright, we're gonna fast track it to get to. Come on, you woe warriors. Oh, I'm actually capped at 100. Alright, let's... So if I have these selected, I do WE... No, no, no. QE... Shift-click. Okay. Learning my hotkeys. That's what I'm hearing. Real battles took forever. Adam vs. is also something because of Factorio. Well, hey, guess what? We're doing it on Wednesday next week. We're doing it on Wednesday and Friday next week. And we'll probably also have another weekend stream next uh, weekend. I'm like, I, weirdly, the last three weeks have been, like, suddenly my, like, busiest ever. Where is this fucking castle? Is it up? Is it fucking up here? Show your castles! Huh! Huh! I bet it's up here. Oh, why? I will send in the world lawyers. Fast 
found it. Found it. You cannot hide from me. Now we get it. Oh my god, they're shooting at me. I'm coming in. I'm coming for you. Let's take down the English. Alright. Use your swords to hit the castle. Alright, we're doing a lot of damage to our own friends. Okay, wait a minute. What is this building? Look at how strong this building is. This just doesn't even die. This is the most invincible thing I've ever seen. Is this true for town halls? 2400 with... What the hell? Castles like planetary fortresses without wheels? Planetary fortresses die so fast, man. The castle is mightier than the sword, man. Are castle pushes like a normal thing? Oh! Look at some of this art. Look at some of this art. The English castle at Falkirk is no more. The English pretensions and Scotland are English. surely at an end. The forces of Wallace are triumphant. Hooray, Mel Gibson does it again. We leave that map. Leave it. Leave it. Look at me! I, I got bronze medals in all of them. Okay, return to main menu. I heard... I heard from Looper that there were some custom campaigns. I heard that there were some custom campaigns. In order to teach me how to play in multiplayer. The art of war? Uncover the strategic wisdom of Sun Tzu and practice your Age of Empires 2 skills in a series of short challenges. In each challenge you will strive to earn a medal and prove your worth. Oh my god. I am tickled. I, oh my god, let me, ugh. I'm going to do some Art of War. I'm going to take a break because I need to use the restroom. Uh, I'm also going to take about five minutes so that way I can get some uh, food. I have some canned soup. I'm thinking of cracking one of those puppies open, eating it straight out of the can, doing a zombie apocalypse impersonation. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we come back, we're going to be playing a little bit of the Art of War, learning whatever information is trying to give to me. And then I think we're going to do some multiplayer objectiving. I'm going to try out win in multiplayer. All right, so let me, let me, oh, this is fun. Oh, this is fun. I, you know, I really love, I cannot tell a lie. I really love, here's the right button. I really love kind of like try hard multiplayer in non enormous games like you know everyone is streaming call of duty and dota and league and starcraft this is all, all like extremely sophisticated and elaborate um huge esports communities and like age of empires has been this one that's just been like just like quietly getting big and i have no idea i have no stakes at all i'm just gonna go and play this shit this is gonna be like mm, uh, mm. 